Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to create this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look from the American Music Awards. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of pictures of her and Chloe. They looked absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to go with Kylie's look just because I really wanted to do this fun blue hair here that's actually super easy. So if you want to see how I got that, stay tuned to the end of the video. And I also wanted to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers here on YouTube and all of the people who follow me on social media like Instagram and Twitter. I woke up on Thanksgiving to 1K subscribers and I was so happy. You guys have no idea. I seriously had the biggest smile on my face all day long. It seriously means so much to me and I just can't believe how far I've come. So I wanted to say thank you and I also wanted to give away one of these color stylers. So I used one in the color blue burst but I want to give away the purple mania. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is just like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and just comment down below how you found my channel just because I'm curious to know how you guys got here and yeah so that's about it so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye I'm starting off by priming my face this will ensure that our makeup lasts longer and it also provides a smoother canvas to work with I am pressing this into the skin to really fill in those pores and I already applied moisturizer and lip balm before this now I'm applying foundation all over my face with an e.l.f. powder brush. I usually use this foundation in a darker color to contour, but I have been using a lighter color for all over my face for about a week now, and so far I have been really liking it. Next, I'm going to conceal my dark circles with my Ride or Die MAC Studio Fix Concealer. To prime my lids, I'm using MAC's Painterly Paint Pot, and before we get started on the eyeshadow, I'm going to set my under eye concealer with Ben Eyes Banana Powder to ensure that fallout will not stick to our face, and I'm also using ELF's Mineral Powder Brush with it. I'm filling in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Ash. I'm basically just giving them a nicer shape and then I'm going to use concealer to further perfect them. This is a great trick if you want to clean up your brow shape or if you messed up while filling them in. After I apply the concealer, I will go back in and blend it out so there are no harsh lines. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to dust Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream all over the lid. This is a color that matches my skin tone and all it's going to do is give us a smooth base which will help all of the other eyeshadows blend more easily together. So Kylie looks like she has a really subtle eye. It seems like most of the focus is on the faux lashes. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow slightly darker than Beaches and Cream. This one is the color Cream Brulee and I'm going to work that into my outer V with my Sigma E40 blending brush. You don't have to be precise with this since we are blending it out a lot. Then going back to one of my favorite palettes, Meet Matte Nude by The Bomb, I'm picking up the shadow Matte Rosen with my Sigma E25 blending brush and again just focusing that in my outer V area. Really take your time with this and blend it well. Then I'll be picking up matte wood and following the same steps. Don't forget to take your blending brush and just make sure to blend everything out. Next I'm picking up a matte white shadow with a flat eyeshadow brush and sweeping this on the lid and on the brow bone. This is a super old brush from the drugstore and it's still going strong. And I'm just going to go back in and blend out any harsh edges. Using Maybelline's Black Eyeliner and Sigma's EO5 Eyeliner Brush, I'm going to line my eyes. For falsies, I'm adding the only lashes I have been using lately, Red Cherry Number no. 43's with the House of Lashes Adhesive. I'm also going to line my bottom waterline with Milani's Shadow Eyes in Almond Cream. This is a nude eyeliner. You can use white if you want, but I find that it looks a bit too harsh on me. Now I'm going to be highlighting with Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, chin, center of the forehead, cupid's bow, and sides of the mouth. And I'm literally pressing the product into my skin using the Sigma Tapered Kabuki. My favorite for this is actually the Beauty Blender, but I was too lazy to go get it. 
I'm going to contour using L'Oreal True Match and W8 in the hollows of my cheeks, temples, sides of the nose, and especially under my bottom lip for the appearance of those full Kylie Jenner lips. Now I'm taking beaches and cream again and blending that into my lower lash line with a pencil brush. Okay, so the MAC 212 brush is really great for this next step. I'm picking up a shadow called Matt Garcia and I'm literally stamping this on my lower lash line as close to the lashes as possible. As we get closer to the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to extend my lower lash line. Then with a flat, dense brush and the shadow Matte Rosen, I'm going to start smudging that line. And just apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to apply Mary Luminizer by The Bomb as my highlight. And onto the best part, that beautiful Kylie lip. Kylie's makeup artist Rob Sheffy, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, did use this exact lip liner on her. This is Max Burgundy Liner. He lined them and filled them in with this, and he also added a balm on top for added moisture, and I did that off camera. A trick I like to do to getting your lip liner perfect is to tilt your head backwards a bit and just look down into the mirror. That really helped me figure it out. And I'm also cleaning up my lines a bit with some concealer and a synthetic brush. This is great if you mess up. So I wanted to give you two more lip alternatives. The first one is by Clinique. This is almost an exact color as Max Burgundy except it is shiny. And the other drugstore option is actually a lip crayon by Revlon. And I wore this almost every single day last fall. It is a shade or two lighter than Max Burgundy but it's just as pretty and cheaper. For my cheeks I'm using Make A Geek's Infatuation. And I know, I know I use this too much lately but I absolutely love it. I'm also going to apply Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer to the inner corners of the eye. And finally onto the hair! I'm using Garnier's Color Styler in the color Blue Burst. The steps are really really easy. Begin by protecting your hands with gloves and then shake the bottle well. Squeeze a small amount of the product on your hands, rub the product together and apply to your hair. Let dry and then brush through hair. No rinsing needed. Garnier claims that this product lasts 2-3 to three shampoos. It's so easy and the results are amazing. I especially like that you don't have to be committed to the color. By the way guys, this video is not sponsored. Don't forget to enter my giveaway so you can win a you can win one of these. And I hope you don't mind my serious poker face. I tend to look mad when I concentrate. These are the final results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, give this video a thumbs up so I know. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. What's what it? Not, uh, uh, uh.